Just do it, darling. Whew. Hi, you. Hi. How was school? It was fine. Hi, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Who are you? Hadiza's friend. Oh. The lady she introduced you to the other time. Meredith. Oh, Meredith. I'm so sorry. I, I was in a rush that day. I, I didn't look at your face so well. Okay. Um, I hope you're not offended. No, it's okay. Okay. Uh, where's my wife? Oh, she went out and she asked me to look after Juliet. Okay, so that means I can get back to my studio, right? Yes, I'll stay at Oh, you want to get rid of daddy so quickly, right? <laughs> All right. All right, I'll see you guys later, okay? Um, Mr. Vibos, yep. lunch is ready and I have more than enough. Do you mind? Mm, no, I think I can eat something before I get back to work. Sure. Okay, um, I'll just dish for you and Juliet. Why, <laughs> Juliet and I, what about you? I'm not hungry, I'm fine. No, but you made the food, so if you want us to eat, uh, you should come and eat with us. I insist. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Uh, let me get the food. No problem. But every single day with you is very memorable. Aww. I love you. Baby, you didn't say you love me. Huh? Mm. Do I have to say it? Of course. But I use my money to show you I love you now. All my money that you keep eating, is that a love? Huh? Tell her you love her. I don't have to say it. My money says it for me. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, uh -huh. Adisa, um, what of Juliet? She went to my mother in her place. Oh, I was wondering because I haven't seen her since we arrived. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she's having fun at school. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mama. Um, Denzel, we, we have to leave now because of traffic. Oh. Yes, thank you so much. I mean, it's been fun. <clears throat> Come on, for hosting us. Look, I told you to stop thanking me for anything. I mean, because you guys are family. It's always a pleasure having you around. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'll call you when I get home. Yeah, you should. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Man, guys, it was so lovely having you around. So much fun, yeah. Thank you, Thank you. It was so much fun. And, um, Hadiza, whatever it is you do to him, Keep doing it. Shut up. Shut up. Let's go. Shut up. Okay, guys. Bye bye. Oh. Hey. Can we talk? Big fool. Hadiza and Daisy look so good together. I mean, they got married two years before us and they still act like newlyweds. Like the perfect couple. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing serious, babe, okay? I, I was just wondering how they do it. Despite Daisy's busy schedule, they still act like... They look so in love with each other. But so are we. Honey, I don't think it is right for you to compare our marriage with theirs. We are happy just the way we are. Of course we are. And you know I love you. I love you now. <laughs> Come here. Mm -hmm. Come back home. 
welcome from the look on your face it's like the meeting didn't go well now oh, wow why are you so keen on this when you can do other things with your time I don't say that now Messi. it will be a dream come true for me to see my face on billboards or even be a face of one of these notable brands this career of yours should be on hold. Time is no longer on your side. I have a dream. And I know that my dream will become a reality. It's just a matter of time. I believe in myself. Sis, now tell me. How many men have promised you modeling gigs? They keep promising and failing, yet you don't want to let go. Let go? Letting go means giving up on my dreams. And I will never give up on my dreams. Not now. You've had this dream of yours ever since you were eight years old. Do you want me to remind you how old you are now? Let's stop now. Uh-uh. Are you a cute or something? If you're not my cousin now, I'll say you're a bad belly now. You mean bad belly? Eh, you're doing like bad belly now. You know I want the best for you and I, right? Which is why you should encourage and support me. We're family. And that is why I want you to focus on reality. You quit your job for this. I had to. That man was a sadist. He practically turned me into everything. I became his, his cleaner, I became his PA, his manager, his chef. I was even his driver for some time. Me, driving him around. So far though. Thank you, young man. So now you're again begging when you quit your job. Him. He actually thought I wouldn't survive without him. Shocker. Mind him, Cherry. Anyway, me, what I plan to do is focus on my small business. And I'm sure my career will be a breakthrough. Yeah. I'll so mm -hmm. so what it takes. I see, see. Yes, I'm hungry. What did you cook? Yeah, what? I'm hungry. Please, I'm too busy. I didn't cook anything. Are you okay? What have you been doing in this house? I'm just kidding. Calm down. There's food in the microwave. Thank you. You're I'm welcome. First. Okay. What did you make though? Check the microwave. You're going out? Yes. And you didn't tell me about it. Maybe you're too busy to know. Since when did pressing my phone make me too busy for you to inform me when you're going out? Oh, you want trouble? Hadiza, how much do you want? How much? So now it's a regular routine, bribing me with money. Oh yeah, you want money. That's all you want from your husband, so be proud of it. How much do you want? It looks like you're not coming back tonight. That's none of your business. And by the way, um, what was that whole thing about that pretense when I showed my Kevin was around? But you played that log, didn't you? Because I didn't want embarrassment. But you, you, you think I would have done that if uh, you were not holding my hands? Shut up and get out of here! This is my house, and you cannot order me around. So stop it. I'll leave this house when I want to. A house? Yes, it is a house. And I'm proud of it. I built it. And you are sticking your butts in this house. You're asking this a house. When am I getting my last? You're shameless. If you like, don't come back. See, see, see. You have to come back home in one piece so I can cater for myself and your daughter. Useless man. Customer, Papa. I beg, I beg, I beg. That's um, six pack of bottle of red wine I order. I need them, I beg. To make I order. I beg, sharp, sharp. Papa, where are you going to now? She's my regular customer. She don't come here for And so, I came here before her. What kind of customer service are you operating here? I don't know that. Please attend to me. Ah. Mary did. Tree. 
Let's wear. I've been in this Nigeria with you, my sister. Oh my God. Oh, I'm going to my house and I'm taking you with me, whether you like it or not. You think I'll say no before? <laughs> I did your house already. Please. I beg, I beg. No, 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 no. My dear, and I love story, yo. <laughs> Anything we should buy, just add them to my bill, okay? I beg. Hey, look at you, shiny cheeks. Yes. Where have you been? I mean, you left us. You? I beg, how are you now? I beg. <laughs> He wanted me to live in his family house before he put a ring on my finger. Can you imagine? After four years relationship. Four years, three months and two days. <laughs> but don't worry, okay? The right man will come at the right time. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so how about Hadiza? How is she? Well, Hadiza is doing really great. <laughs> you know, I bumped into her page one time on Instagram and I DM'd her but she never responded. Mm. Error. You went to DM Adiza. Does no one even respond to her DM? <laughs> anyway, we still keep in touch. You are the one who drifted away. Come on now. I think not. Mm. You know I like to just hustle independently. Mm, independent humor. How far? <laughs> Stop it, Joe. And also, I didn't put my body on you both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is she also married? Yes, yeah, so it's like she's blessed with the perfect marriage. In fact, I'm going to warn you, anytime you go to her house, don't get jealous because ah. the things you will see. <laughs> I'm on a serious <laughs> Yes, but <laughs> I'm telling you, like I'm really inspired by her. Mm -hmm. And she's got a beautiful daughter. <laughs> Are you serious? That's so nice. Very I'm really happy for her this year. I know. That's, the last time I saw her, she was really heartbroken. I think her boyfriend at the time had broken her mm. heart. His name was Paul. That so guy. Uh, this guy shattered her heart. She cried for weeks, if not months. Uh, Amma, she ate breakfast. Serious yeah. breakfast. But she must have really cried then. Right now, that guy is enjoying her marriage. So happy. Seriously. And her husband and my husband are friends. We practically met on the same day. That's so awesome. I know. Oh God. What is that way we're giving out? What is that way we're giving out? You're yeah, chasing nice. your modeling career. Ah, I guess we. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit funny as hell. You've not changed. My husband is a journalist and her husband is a photographer. He's serious. Photographer? Mm -hmm. I know a few celebrity photographers so Oh, you those do? Those guys are making it big now in the industry. You can say that again. Yeah, there's this one I want to work with. I think his name is Denzel Badmos. That guy is so good. Mm. I can't wait to work with him. Hold it there. Just hold it. That is Hadiza's husband. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. I'm serious. <laughs> Hadiza is married to D. Denzel Badman. The very one. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Hey, hey, Chuma. Introduce me to him now. Like, tell Hadiza to introduce me to her husband. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me you're still chasing this year or face model. Of course, I'm chasing it like. Hey. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine. I'm going to talk to Hadiza and she'll talk to her husband. Meanwhile, I want to surprise her. She would be really happy to see you. I can't <laughs> wait to see her. What? It's mm. been ages. Today's a good day. But you, you've not changed. You're, yes. you're still funny as hell. <laughs> so can I get you? Yeah, what you want? Something soft. Are so you cute? What are you taking? Cause this, ah, you're no, looking too, so too so good, so baby. Look so at you shining. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Sir. Hmm? I'm sorry, sir. I had no idea you were sleeping. I have been knocking. It's okay. It's okay. Don't even know when I slept off. Oh, it's way past closing time. Are you and I the only ones in the office? Yes, sir. I came to inform you that I'm leaving. It's okay. You can go, right? Yes, uh, Felicia? Yes, sir. Cancel all my morning photo sessions, okay? Um, please. That you want them cancelled? Yes, I will be resuming late tomorrow. Sir, the photo sessions we have in the morning are with the two Nollywood highest paid actors. And one of them is very controversial. You wouldn't want to be in the news for the wrong reason. Yeah, you're right. Don't cancel them. I'll be here in the morning, alright? Okay, sir. Have a nice evening, sir. Okay, you too. Thank you. Alright. 
Don't even know when I slept off. I think I'll have to get a hotel tonight. This guy is one of the best. Yeah, he was even invited to Met Gala one time. Do you know Met Gala? No. Let me know if you get into one of that. Like, his pictures are outstanding. Wow. Yes, and I really want to. I want to work with him. I can't wait to work with him. Mm. And he knows a lot of influential people in the industry. And this is exactly what I need. Okay. I wish his wife would introduce you to him. Hadiza. She will now. She's my babe. We go way back. Okay. She will. She's that back then in school. She used to have anger issues and all of that. But Choma says she has the best marriage. So I'm sure all that. Best what? Oh, please. All that glitters is not gold. I don't trust what he said if it's marriages. <laughs> but, but he's not really a celeb, actually. He's not, it's not like he's an actor or a musician or something. They are birds of the same feather. Confirm, but Shoma knows them too well to be lying. I'm not saying she's lying. She could have the best marriage. Not perfect, though. Hmm. I wish you well, sis. Thank you, my love. I, I hope I'll hear good news when I'm back. Hmm? Back? Yes. Are you still traveling? Are you serious now? Have you forgotten? Mm, why now? You won't leave me here alone. I'll be bored in this house. I know, right? But I'm on leave. I have to travel. Besides, what will I be doing here when you're not around? Mm. I'm traveling. My baby wants me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Baby. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You have this your long distance relationship. Leave my relationship. I hope you come back with one big ring on your hand. Though. I want to hear good news from you too. You see why I love you so much. I love you too, girl. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Ah, you'll not miss me. How will you miss me? You're going to see man. Mark, stop, <laughs> just, please. They are so beautiful. Thank you, my dear friend. Babe, to think that I was actually looking for a white shoe. Perfect timing. I know. <laughs> ah. To be honest, yeah? You have good eyes for good things. I will give that to you. <laughs> uh -uh. You too. And you are always patronizing my business. Mm -hmm. That is why you are my favorite customer. My number one. <laughs> <laughs> Businesswoman. You can like to hype me. Eh? I beg, that is why they call me what again? The Businesswoman. Business woman. I hype you. Will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? Yeah. And I I'm sure you're going to buy for your husband, you know. You know I have male shoes, I just didn't come with them today. So you don't bother? The thing is, Denzel likes to get his shoes himself. Mm -hmm. I wonder when he's going to patronize me, Sha. Okay, you know what? As soon as he's back from his trip, I'm going to tell him about you. Yes, I'm sure he'll get something from you. He traveled? Yes, he did. Oh, I... I thought I heard him speaking to my husband yesterday that... And he mentioned he was at home. Oh, the thing is he had to leave last night, so he had this impromptu call and he had to get the next available flight. Sure, don't forget to tell him that I have shoes for him. Yeah, sure, if, definitely. If he cannot come to the store, I can always come to his office or come to the house. Sure, sure, sure. I know now. <laughs> but you know I have your back now. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess what? You were pregnant? I really wish I was. <laughs> I saw married. Married it. I married it. The very one. <laughs> Why did you come here with her? Calm down. I like. I saw her a few days ago, and I am going to give her your number. She's going to call you. Oh please. She really wants to visit. Ah, you should. I really want to see her. I hope she's doing well for herself. I hope so. <laughs> hmm. Married it. Ah, we have a lot to talk about. You know, she was there for me when my ex left me. Very true. She's eager to see you too. Yeah. <laughs> Please, oh, transfer, transfer. Yeah, sure, I would. <laughs> With discount, oh, you're giving me discount. I'll pay you. Sure, transfer my money. Sure. This is not bad. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. <clears throat> Were you able to visit Adiza? Yes, and guess what? She bought everything. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, my friend is taking good care of her. Oh, please. Why are you making this sound like she doesn't have our money? Don't forget you received her late mother's pension a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Well, I must admit, she's spending quite a lot. 
I've advised her to save for the future, you know. Nobody knows tomorrow. I guess she's saving. And she has Denzel too. Yeah, that's true. And she's <laughs> such a good friend. She has promised to inform Denzel to patronize my business when he returns from his trip. What trip? She said he traveled. Huh? Mm-hmm. But I spoke to Denzel on my way home. And he told me he went for a business meeting. Are you sure about what you just said? Yes. He wanted us to hang out at the bar, but I was already close to the house. That means she lied to me. Obviously she lied. But why would she lie? Oh, I hope there's no problem in paradise. No, I don't think so. If there was, Denzel would have told me. Maybe she had her reasons. Her reasons? Okay, okay, don't get me wrong here. I know they are all perfect, like... They don't have arguments or disagree about anything. I really don't get it. And that makes me really wonder. Wonder about what? That means... They pretend to be what they are not. No, I don't think so. I just think they understand each other. I hope so. I just hope they don't have any marital issues. Babe, forget about my friend and his wife, okay? <laughs> Let's concentrate on us. He's yeah. I missed you. You're in the family. You're in the family. You're in the family. Then watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. I will lose my temper on you. Lose it. Get out of this. Lose it. Hit me. What the game? This is why they're going to grandma's place. That's mom's voice. She always calls every night. Only a thief that sneaks into his own house, right? Elisa, look, the only reason I tolerate you is because we have a daughter together and I want to set a good example for my daughter. So you don't know all of that or you don't think of that when you sleep with all those women? Don't you dare accuse me of cheating. You have no proof. I have been faithful to you. I don't believe you! I don't! You want to tell me that you work with all those reality TV stars, actors and models and even take them nude pictures and you don't sleep with any of them? The fact that I'm a top photographer, the fact that I, I am signed with one of the top of the biggest companies in town doesn't make me a philanderer. I am a professional. You have used your own hands to destroy your marriage, so face up to it. Going to. I can sleep in this room with you. I'll go to the guest room. Denzel, it seems there's so much on your mind. We barely hang out these days. I was surprised you called me today. Oh, bro, come on, it's nothing. She's been quite busy, that's all. Are you sure that is it? What's the meaning of that question? I'm sure she's been busy, that's all. Busy? Denzel, I've known you for a long while. But of late you seem quite different. Look, 
To be honest with you, I am certain that you are not happy. Is there trouble in paradise? What are you talking about? Trouble in paradise are you talking about my marriage? Yes, is something wrong? No. My marriage is fine. Everything is okay. You know you can talk to me, right, Denzel? I'm your friend. You can tell me anything. Do you have financial problems? You know you can count on me for anything. No, Kelvin. My marriage is fine. And I'm not having financial problems. I am fine. Everything is fine. Oh, come on, brother. <laughs> okay, fine, if you say so. But I just want you to know that you can count on me any day, any time, for whatever. Okay? Know that. You can also count on me any day, any time, because we are brothers. <laughs> My man. <laughs> My man. Oh, man. Just tired, that's all. Mm hmm. Okay. Come here and start flattering me. You're in your sweet mouth. But it's true. Mine yeah. looks so good in you. Well, you don't look bad yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, nice place. Thank you. Wow. Girl, I can't mm -hmm. believe you're married to D. Denzel Badmos. Well, I am. And trust me, he deserves the award for the best husband in the world. Of course, I can mm -hmm. see that. Look at you going like mm -hmm. glittering. <laughs> ah. Wow. Um, so about what we discussed, yes. actually Choma told me about it as well, so um, I'm going to talk to my husband about it. You will? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. It would mean a lot to me if you do. I would. Thank as soon as he's back, I'm going to tell him about it. Ah, thank you. I trust you, eh? So if anything comes up, I'm just a call away, okay? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, man. You don't look bad. <laughs> thank you. Um, so what should I offer you? I've ordered pizza already, so what drink should I add to that? Something soft, non-alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Wait, you still can't handle alcohol? Girl, I tell forever, what can what? I do? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, yes. it's, I'll just go get you something there. Hey, where have you been? You left the house without telling me this morning. What do you care? You know what? I don't have your time. Coward! Yes, you're a coward! You can never be useful! This is a very useless man! Eh? Are you mad? Am I mad? Are you Are you mad? You're a mad! You're your family! You're a terrible girl of your insane! Then watch your tongue! Watch your tongue! I don't, I don't want to lose my temper on you! Lose it! Get out of this! Lose it! Kiss me! You're crazy. I don't I don't have your time. See, come back here. We're not done. I'm going to frustrate you in this house. I can't even allow my daughter to with an irresponsible man like you. Eh? I me? I will not accept such rubbish. Are you threatening me? Threatening you? I have not even started. Trust me, I have not started. Like, how long? How long are we going to keep pretending in this house like everything is fine between us? How long? Then leave my house. Leave. Go pack your things and leave my house. There's no love between the both of us. There's probably never been love between us. All you care about is my money, my fame, or, 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 or looks. That's all you care about. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking. Fame? Because you mess around with models, actors, and reality TV stars. You think you're a celebrity? You're just a photographer. Just an online photographer. I work with them. Oh, please, shut up. You piece of shit. What is your problem? What is your problem? No. What do you want from me? Ah! Hey! 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 Dad? Hey, darling. Hey, darling. 
You will soon be all right. Yeah. Everything will be all right. Sorry, okay? Come on. So you mean you've been going through all these in the hands of your wife? I swear to you, brother. Every single thing I've told you is the truth. That means you both have been pretending all along. But tell me, Denzel, when did this, this behavior of hers start? Two years ago, about, about two years ago. Yeah. You mean you've been enduring all of this for two years? Wow. I've only stayed in the marriage because of my daughter. Juliet would be so hurt to see her mother and I separate. But your mental state and the state of your mind matters. That should be your number one priority. You can't keep enduring and living a lie. What do you want me to do, brother? You're the only one who knows how to get yourself out of this shell. I think you should stand your ground. Do not let her intimidate you. Hadiza is a tigress. A tigress in the form of a human being. <laughs> she's, she's crazy. She even called my mom, asking to see my mom. For what? Well, probably wants to report me to my mom. Are you a baby? For what exactly? Accusing me of domestic violence. Lying that I hit her, hitting her. No, it's not true. I told you already. What? Uh -huh. This accusation is serious and fabricated. Yes. No. Do not let it get out. And I don't think you should take it lightly because she's trying to give you a bad name. I know. I know. But seriously, what exactly did you do to her to warrant all this resentment? What happened? <laughs> Oh, Calvin, I have been asking myself the same thing. What did I do? What did I do to her? Can't seem to figure it out. I mean, I, I, I can only think about her mother's pension since she got that money. She changed. She's been uh, traveling, shopping, um, spending less time in the house. And then she started complaining about my work that I, I i'm taking nude pictures with uh, models and i'm having private sessions with uh, uh, uh with people you know but you know the business that's that's what brings uh, my, my money uh, working with those uh, celebrities and uh, you know the, the models and all that and she's been questioning everything but all these are not enough reasons for her to act towards you that mm -hmm. way oh, i don't know you know what I feel like there's something eating her up deep inside. You need to sit her down and have a conversation with her. A conversation? Mm -hmm. A conversation with her, Deezer. <laughs> Kelvin, you don't know what you're talking about. A conversation with her, Deezer. Deezer doesn't listen to anything. Every attempt to have a conversation turns into a battle. The house becomes a battleground. Every <laughs> conversation with that Deezer, I wish you all the luck. Good evening, Mom. Why didn't you tell me what happened when I called you? What happened? What did Hadiza tell you, Mom? Are you answering me with a question? I did nothing to her. She's just full of drama. You beat me up! Then, sir! I did what? I did not train you up to be like this. That's what's coming for you. Why did you lay your hands on your wife? <laughs> Mama, I did not touch her. Believe me. Really? Then tell me what happened to her hand. Denzel needs to sign an undertaking unless I'm going to report him to the human rights. You can't continue to, to, to treat 
treat me like I'm any man in this house. Oh, me, sir. What is that? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you to deserve such unspeakable treatment? You are a filthy liar. Will you keep quiet? Denzel, instead of you to plead with me so that I can beg your wife, you are here calling your wife a liar. What did you say? She's lying. It's obvious she's lying. Look at her hand. You know what? I'm talking to your parents. Okay? So you need to. That's what I'm saying. You never guys do here. Can't start talking to your grandma. Well, hush, my daughter. She has the right to speak. Daddy will leave you up. Really? I'm gonna let everything. Are you mad? Beautiful. Oh god. What's your problem? Tell me what happened! Oh my god, thank you, God. How could you? How could you lie to me? I never be love with you, know? All you care about is my money, my fate, or my loose. That's all you care about. Shameless woman. Denzel, tell me what is going on in this house. Tell me what is between you and your wife. Mom, it's just a misunderstanding. Nothing is happening. We'll sort it out. I'm sorry for getting you involved in this. Darling, sweetheart. Hey, you're a brilliant girl, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Oh man, you see, you didn't even believe me. You should know who you raised. She came calling and tweaked me. I'm your son. You didn't bring me up like that. I can't believe Juliet recorded me. She's just so lucky that Denzel and his mother was there would have beaten the living hell out of that girl. Hey. Alisa. What no. is it? Listen see, see, see. Don't ever. See, this is the last time you should call my name again. Alisa, can you calm down? I know you are angry at Juliet. But please, don't be. Boy, you she, she, she's your daughter. Come on. But you were scolding me when I was trying to correct her. Because she did the right thing. She did the right thing. Yes. I knew the both of you were going to have each other's sides. I knew it. See, I just need to be right now. Just let me be. Just stay away from me. You have very bad energy. Bad energy? Yes. Hey, I have bad energy? Alisa, mean bad energy? Alisa, what is your problem? What did I ever do to you? Why are you so much like this? See, please, I've told you to leave me alone, okay? I need space. Oh, I'm telling you, do not touch the child, okay? Hello? Why were you not picking my calls? Do you know how worried when I get when you don't pick my calls? Paul, what's going on? Denzel. Mom. I never raised you to be a coward. Why didn't you tell me of this thing? I can handle it, Mama. Really? Yes. <laughs> Would you have handled it if she didn't interfere? I was just going to give her money. She won't refuse it. Money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> money over your reputation. I mean, would money solve anything? I know my wife. Wait. Are you telling me that you knew she was going to act this way? You're going to allow that mere mortal to destroy you? Destroy my son? My only son? Mom, mom, please, lower your voice. Just bring your voice down. We have neighbors around. Are you please. afraid of her? I'm not afraid of her. I just don't want you getting involved in my marriage, you know? I'm man enough to sail through the storm. I'm a mother trying to protect her son. I know and I appreciate it, Mom. But you just have to respect my decision. Please, just stay out of it. All right? Okay. Um, do you want to eat? Should I make you something to eat? With everything that's happened, I'm not eating anything. I don't even have the appetite. Ah, uh, my mom. 
That reminds me. That video. You need to keep it. It's an evidence for the future. I will. Thank you. Mm, thank you, my mother. Mm. Mom. Mom. Are you angry? No, I'm not angry. I'm happy because you're the superhero. Congratulations. All right, but I, I still, I'm still going to make something for you to eat. You have to eat, Mama. You just came to my house. You're not going to leave anything. like that. You will eat. You will eat. Let me go to the kitchen. Are you okay, babes? Uh -huh. I hope you're not coming now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You're not serious. Mm. <sighs> well. Mm. Honey, do you know that the perfect marriage that Denzel and Hadiza have been portraying is actually a disaster waiting to happen? You've got to be kidding me. I hate it, but I'm not kidding you. Denzel is going through a lot. Hadiza has totally changed him. You know, that woman is actually a wrecking ball. Come on, don't say that. That's quite harsh. I don't believe it. I didn't believe it until Denzel was able to convince me. Do you know that she's trying to accuse him of domestic violence? Mm? Yes. Mm -mm. Domestic what? <laughs> I really don't understand these people. There must be something wrong, honestly. Why would Hadiza want to act that way towards Denzel? Only God knows. Just worried for my friend. Something is really wrong, and I wonder what. Yeah, but whatever happens, that's, I mean, don't give her the impression that you know about her marital problems. You know, we'll never do that. Mm. And mm. Um, I have a lunch date with her, I married it in a few days. Uh, you see that married it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't tell her about it. Are you joking right you now? You know you girls when you are gisting, one gist will lead to another gist. What gist? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> but you know what? Let's forget about this gist. There's one gist we need to finish, really. What gist? You want to know? I want to know. You're asking me. There's no issue to be trying. There's no issue. I don't want to have a hala. Thank you so much for inviting me again. Come on. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you too. You're always shining. Thank you. <laughs> So, um, I haven't seen your daughter. Oh, she's in her room. I'm sure you see her when she's through with her assignments. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your husband? He's home him. too. But he will be stepping out really soon. Okay. Yeah. Um, have you told him about what I told you? Not yet. But see, trust me. I'm going to tell him about you. The thing is, he's been so busy of late. And there's barely time for us to discuss. I understand. Busy schedule. Yeah. Babe, just like that, you're not going to give me a baby girl a kiss. Really? Come on, baby, you don't want to kiss me here? That's better. Um, how are you? Hi, good afternoon, sir. Um, this is my old time friend, Meredith. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, sir. Okay. Take care, okay? Take yeah. care. Bye. Try safe, babe. It's like your husband doesn't like me. No, come on, Meredith. I'm sure it's not that. He's really, really shy with strangers, okay? I'm sure with time you'll get to know him. It's all right. I understand. Yeah. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Just like your mom. Mm -hmm. My mini me, right? Yeah, I can <laughs> see it. <laughs> My name is Meredith. I'm Juliet. Of course, I know Juliet. You're so pretty. It's Good nice to meet you. Good girl. <laughs> oh, they're going so fast. Mm -hmm. Trusses. I don't joke with how trust me. Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. My advice to you is that you should really look carefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a long time commitment. Yeah. 
you really need to think if you would want to spend the rest of your life with your partner. True. I totally agree with you, Choma. And mm. another thing is you need to learn to forgive. You know, how do you do it? I saw how lovey-dovey you were with your husband. It was so beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. I wish I could have that. Oh, gosh. I know. Uh, is everything okay? okay? Yeah. Um, are you okay. sure you need water? I'm okay. <laughs> So, um, Mary, did you ask how I do it? Yes, yeah? to be honest, yeah. I think it's basically because I trust and respect my husband a lot, yeah. And you see, prayer, prayer is very important in every marriage. I pray, don't get me wrong, I am not religious, but I pray a lot for my family, especially my husband. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you had an argument with Denzel? <laughs> to be honest, I can't even remember. Whenever we have issues, we just talk about it and we just let go of it. That is how much we understand each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, you must really love your husband. Of course I do. I love him so much. He's the father to my daughter and he's my husband. I love <coughs> him with all of my heart. Mm. Oh, so sweet, girl. That's nice. I mean, mm. me and Kelvin, we usually have an argument, you know, um, but we just learn to apologize to each other whenever we are wrong. It's amazing. Yeah. It I is. really applaud you. <laughs> I really applaud you. It's not yeah. easy. I know, I know. What? Our marriage is not perfect, okay? We just find a way to compromise. Well, yeah. mm? mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. just relax, okay? Love will find you. Yeah, Amen. definitely. You would. Cheers to love, man. Cheers <laughs> <I'm used> to that. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Meredith? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. Ah, it was so nice of you to take me to lunch. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you free? Oh, oh yes, I am. Okay. Do you mind coming over to my place now? Okay, it's possible. Oh, fine. I'll be expecting you. All right. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Hey, are you sure she doesn't want to introduce me to her husband? I am finally going to meet Denzel Badmos. Okay, let me just calm down. Calm down. Hey. Hi, your door was open. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. You came in at the right time. You're oh. such a lifesaver. See, um, Juliet, yeah, I think she'll be coming back with the school bus today, and I need somebody to be at home while she's back. Hope you don't mind. Oh. Where? Were you expecting something else? Oh, no, no. It's absolutely fine. Okay. You want me to wait till you're back? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I really appreciate it. Okay. So the thing is, there's no food in the house, but we have food stuff and ingredients all stocked up in the refrigerator. So you can make something for yourself and Juliet. I wouldn't mind. Alright, no problem. Yeah. I knew I could count on you. Thank you very much. Anytime. anytime. Yeah, I need to leave now because there's someone I need to meet in a business meeting. Alright, run along. Thank you. Alright, take care. Drive safe. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Was I expecting something else? Of course I was expecting something else now. I thought she wanted to introduce me to her husband or something. Jesus. And here I am to babysit. <gasps> Meredith. Joblessness is not good. Yeah, now, of course I don't have work. <laughs> anyway. Things we do for the career. Later, somebody will say I didn't make sacrifices for my career. But why were you not picking my calls or replying my messages? It's 
so frustrating and you know how worried I get when I don't get a response from you. Paul, I'm talking to you, don't be quiet. Did I come here for query or for your money? Tell me. So the only reason why you came here to see me is because you want to ask for more money? What sort of stupid question is It's not a stupid question! You should answer me! Wait, did you just raise your voice at me? Hey, Adiza. I'm sorry. You better be. In your every existence, don't you ever try that nonsense with me again. I said I'm sorry. But why were you not picking your calls? I needed to speak to you at that time. I was probably with my wife. Listen, you have to stop holding on to the past. Whatever transpired between you and I happened a long time ago. Let's forget about it. Forget about it? But Paul and I can't let go. I thought helping you with this money was going to make you realize that we we're meant to be together. For you to see how much I feel for you, what's, what's going on? Let me make this straight here with you. You're not helping me. We are actually helping each other. You see this investment I'm embarking on is for life. And it's for our own good. So trust me. trust you. Yeah, I know that um, it's your money and all of that, but if you sincerely trust me, then you don't have to question me. There is massive profit in this and crypto is the way forward. It's a legit business. There's nothing to worry about. So how much are we talking about here? How much do you need? Um, it's just a small money anyway. We're looking at um, 10 million naira. 10 million naira, Paul! Do you even know how much I have left in my account because I've been giving you money? Are you giving me the money or not? Are you giving me the money or not? I'll give you the money. Why are you talking? Not all the nonsense you've been saying. Come on, this is the Adiza I used to know, not the other one. I was sounding so scared. Trust me, it's going to benefit both of us, okay? Come on, smile. Just your darling. Whew. Hey, you. Bye. How was school? It was fine. Hi, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Who are you? Hadiza's friend. Oh. The lady she introduced you to the other time. Meredith. Oh, Meredith. I'm so sorry. I I was in a rush that day. I, I didn't look, look at your face so well. It's okay. Um, I hope you're not offended. Okay, uh, where's my wife? Oh, she went out and she asked me to look after Juliet. Okay, so that means I can get back to my studio, right? Yes, I'll stay with friend. Oh, you want to get rid of daddy so quickly, right? <laughs> All right. All right, I'll see you guys later, okay? Uh, Mr. Vargas, yep. lunch is ready and I have more than enough. Do you mind? Mm, no, I think I can eat something before I get back to work. Sure. Okay, um, I'll just dish for you and... Juliet. Why, <laughs> Juliet and I, what about you? I'm not hungry, I'm fine. No, but you made the food, so if you want us to eat, uh, you should come and eat with us. I insist. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let me get the food. No problem. <laughs> Hmm. 
sounds good. You can know, this is so good. Really? Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. The food is really delicious. I love it. It's been a while I had such a delicious meal at home. Thank you. You're welcome. So I want to spend the night here. Juliet. Let her be, okay? <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Badness. Honey, I can't sleep over. What's wrong? Well, I didn't discuss that with your mom. I'm sorry. I thought you were discussing with my dad. Juliet? <laughs> um, it's not my place to do that, okay? She has to talk it over with your mom first. Do you understand? I see you're quite fond of Meredith. Yes, I should have my own this day she came. The other day she came? Hmm. So you like her company? Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Yeah. I enjoy your company too, my dear. Just gonna walk away without saying anything. Denza, what do you want me to say? Juliet, we needed you at our school today. Where were you? I went for a business meeting. Business meeting? Where did you venture into business? Do you tell me about your job? Yes, I did. I did. What did you tell me not to mention anything about my work to you? What is your problem? I do not have a problem, okay? See, today was tough and, and I need to rest. I'm very tired. You don't even care about your daughter. She's been up waiting for you until she fell asleep. See you. A mother. A father. She's your daughter too, right? You should take her to bed. Please, I need to go to bed. What is this? What have I got myself into? And I kept waiting to hear from you to know how far you've gone with it. I'm really surprised nothing has been done about it. Hadiza hasn't said anything about it. But she promised to talk to her husband on your behalf. And I've been waiting. I have. Maybe if you remind her about it, you know she could be really forgetful. I don't want to bother her. She says she will. Just wait and see. Or better still, I could talk to my husband to talk to Denzel about it. Mm, it's not necessary. Though. Are you sure? Yes. I mean, Hadiza has promised to help me. And I believe she will. Let's just see how it goes. Are you sure about this? I can really talk to him. Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay. After all, if this dream doesn't work out, Another one will. Ah, Auntie, what dream are you talking about? My dream man. Oh, gee, you just said the dream man. What dream man? <laughs> okay. Um, I met someone on Instagram. Ooh, really? Okay. Yeah, so we're going on a date soon. Hmm, that's nice. I mean, that's really nice. There is no place you can't meet your dream man. I mean, People meet their spouse on social media platform. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just be careful. Of course. And make sure you don't see him in a private place. Uh -huh. That's a big public place. I'm the one picking the bed. Oh nice, no, great. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> you need to give me some of your beauty tips, Sha. That's beauty. Oh, All the beauty, no one. Oh, the right man will call. Yeah. Let's see what oh, you say. Okay, that's the shirt. That's it. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Take your t-shirt. Well, you know what, Denzel? Go ahead. You seem quite cheerful today, huh? Well, my um, sources of joy right now is uh, my work, my daughter, and snooker. Hmm, snooker. But the thing is, you're not playing the snooker as good as you used to. 
I feel like you have quite a lot of mind. Do you want to take a bet? Yeah, I, I don't know. Just, it's a lot, but the good thing is I have made some decisions as it relates to this. So, really? Yeah. What decisions? I mean, what is it? Well, so it works. So it works. But once it has materialized, I'm going to let you know. You be the first. Okay. Okay, fine. I'm glad that you have made a decision. But yeah. Thank you. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you still got it. <laughs> you got it, bro. Come on, come on. You know what I said. Trying to help your life. Ah, I see. Yeah. Thanks for doing that for me. Don't worry, I don't have to do too much. Let me just show you how it's done. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I'm getting old. <laughs> You're surely getting old. Right? Yeah, um, if I forget, here, when we were speaking on the phone, you told me something about you. I mean, coming together to work with a cosmetic brand. Yes, it's actually a partnership, you know. Mm. It's a partnership with the brand. Um, we are looking for a new face to represent the brand. So, yeah, that's how far we are right now. Mm. Do you have any in mind? No, I don't, but... I'm thinking in the forthcoming meeting, you know, like uh, planning on suggesting to them that we use a new face, brand new face, mm. a regular girl who probably is not a celebrity or popular person like that. Because what I'm thinking, using a regular face to sell cosmetics at an affordable price speaks a lot about brand, especially mm. when the when the products are quality products. Mm. So people would think like, okay, well, anybody can use a brand. I mean, you don't have to be rich. You can be a, a middle-income person, low-income person. Even the rich people will feel like, okay, we can associate with a good brand once it's quality. Yeah, that's 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 actually not a bad idea. Yeah, but I mean, people would definitely buy. But don't you think that's too much risk? Risk? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of business man would I be if I refused to take risks, my brother? <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I mean, to run a successful business, you have to, you have have to take to lots of risks. So I, I, I'm going to put the eight boy. The eight ball is going to go there. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Your day can't be that good. Oh, oh well, you're lucky. I was the same voodoo you are doing, I swear. Thank you so much for taking your time to pick up my daughter. I had this uh, important meeting I couldn't miss. Oh, I hope your meeting went well. Yeah, it went very well. My wife sent me your address. She said Juliet was going to be here. Yeah, she called. She couldn't make it on time to pick her up and she has a house keys. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're uh, welcome. Baby, it's time to go. Dad, can I spend more time with him tomorrow? Uh, sweetheart, we have to go now, okay? The moon never has my time. Juliet, be mindful of what you say about your mom in public, okay? All right? She's at home right now. She's waiting for you. She never has my time. Don't mind her. Mm. Juliet, your mom is a busy woman. Do you understand? I'm sure she's going to create more time for you. Hmm? All right, you know she loves you. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, darling, say bye bye. We have to go. Thanks. Thanks for the food. I enjoyed it. Uh, you're welcome, honey. Don't mention. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Come here. <laughs> Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. Um, thank you once more, Meredith. Um, you have a beautiful day. I really appreciate what you did. Can I see what you have? Oh no, it's okay. You've done enough already. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah, that's so nice. kind of you. Uh, drive safe. Yes, I uh, will.
What are you doing? Waiting for my food. I told you I was hungry when you uh, called me and I went to pick up Juliet. And you said you were in the kitchen. Did I tell you I was cooking for you and I? Or you don't have common sense to comprehend that? Adiza. What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? That you treat me this way. All I've been to you is a good and decent husband. Take care of you. I provide everything for you. It's not providing for me. Jesus is not. Have you taken a look at a laptop of recent? The tons of naked pictures you have on them. When I got married to you, you were strictly taking wedding pictures, event pictures, normal pictures of celebrities. And now what do you do? You take naked pictures. Do you even have private sections with these <clears throat> models? Oh, you think I'm stupid? Do you think I don't know you sleep with them? Please, listen to me. Don't you trust me? I'm your husband. I love you. I can never cheat on you. Don't you trust me? What, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to quit my career? Yes! Quit it! Quit your career and get a decent job! Don't you even get out of seeing these naked women almost every single day? That's my job. And once you come back to this home acting like you're such a decent man, you should really be ashamed of yourself. Lost my appetite. Juliet, what happened? What happened to you? Huh, baby? What happened to you? I spoke, I spoke with the doctor on my way here and he was so friend. he didn't see me, he didn't see your mother. Hadiza asked me to take her to the hospital. Where was she? I don't know. She sounded really busy. Too busy to take her daughter to the hospital? It's no bother. I mean, I offered to help. I don't know how to thank you. Thank you so much. It's alright. We all want the same thing. For her to get well. <sighs> Baby? Sorry, okay? Sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to run. I'll have a date. No, you've done enough. Thank you so much. Here's her drugs. She hasn't taken any. All right. I'll, I'll give them to you. All right. Just uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay. Bye, Juliet. I'm just sleeping. All right. Hey, baby. Hey. Sorry, okay? How could you do such a thing to me, Paul? Do you know how many hours I had to wait for you and you didn't show up? You just stood me up. And you promised me you were going to come out. That was why I went there in the first place. Because you said I can't even come to your home. Why do you keep treating me like this, Paul? Why? Adisa, you came in. You didn't talk to me. That's okay. I didn't ask you where you went. But your daughter. Your daughter, don't you care that she's sick? Where were you when they took her to the hospital? You did not inform me. Did you tell me? Did you just shout at me? Did you want to beat me? Beat you? Yes! No, beat me! Lisa, I would never, ever lay my hands on No, you. beat me now! Denzel, beat me! No, beat me and I will hit you back! I know this whole thing is just a trap. You're trying to get me into a trap, lure me into touching you, but that will not happen. Denzel, beat me! Adiza, you will never turn me into a violent Oh, please but... keep quiet! Shame on you. I know you don't have the mind to hit me. You don't have the mind. Your mother does not know he gave birth to a very useless man like yourself. Anyway, so you just send him money to take care of your daughter. Adiza, you're so unbelievable. You're so toxic. You're so evil. Please watch your daughter. I'm going out to clear my head. I can't be in the same space with you. You're something else.
Meredith? So that was Meredith. Hi. Hi. Uh, you're not here with me, sir. Oh uh, no, um, you're alone. How is Julia health? I'm so sorry, I, I didn't say the other time. Ah, uh, she's she's okay. You don't have to apologize about it. Are you alone? Are you expecting someone? Apparently, I had a date and the idiot stood me. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Um, can I join you? Okay. So, what are you doing here alone? Well, uh, I, uh, Hadiza and I, we had a fight and I um, thought I'd just uh, come out, clear my head, spend some time alone. That's all. Anyway, you're not alone anymore. I guess so. Uh, your fight with Hadiza, I hope it was nothing serious. It was. That's why I had to get out. It's crazy. Sorry. Thank you. Seems like you don't want to talk about it. Nope. Anyway, you're here now. Get a drink, but don't get drunk. <laughs> I, I try to drink responsibly, though. I should have told you when I saw you. Um, Kelvin came to see me and he talked about you. Kelvin? Yes. What did Gemma's husband say about me? On behalf of his wife, he was uh, asking for a favor. A favor? Yes. Look, uh, first of all, I just want to say that you've been quite nice to my daughter. I really appreciate. D don't get me wrong, actually. I'm just being nice to Juliet because I naturally like her. It's not like... I'm looking for any favor or anything. No, no, no. I, I'm not even saying that. <laughs> Would you like to be the new face of Dazzling K Cosmetics? Same Dazzling K? Yeah. The one I know? Yeah, the one you know. <gasps> Is everything okay? Yes. I mean, you, you, you have the face. You have a charming smile. You your beautiful good personality i think you would just be a perfect acquisition for the brand that's if you want it though are you kidding me yes 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 i do oh my god thank you so much it's okay i'm short of words. no it's okay it's fine right. thank you so much it's, it's okay it's okay ah, i think if you're if you're that happy i think we should just celebrate it see i'm really sorry okay i have to tell kelvin but babe, we shouldn't have told him now. It was inevitable, Meredith. Hadiza has no plan of telling her husband about it. You think? If she wanted to, she would have done that without turning you to an errand girl. Errand girl. I don't understand. You think I don't know what has been happening? Hadiza has no plan of helping you. She's only using you. At least I know that now. You know that now. Wait, is there something you're not telling me? Time will tell. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I just feel some type of way. I got too excited and I accepted the gig without informing Hadiza. I don't know how she'll feel about it. Nobody cares about how she's going to feel about it. Just tell her and move on. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, your sir. Cheers to that. Cheers. Thank you. Honestly, we're doing photo shoot very soon. I'm so excited. Great. Good news. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's all you're doing. You're welcome. And I've just been there waiting for Adiza. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Chest to more photo shoots. Yes. More shoots. More shoots. <laughs> <laughs>
You went behind my back to sign the deal. Why didn't you inform me first? Lisa, I did not go behind your back. But you told Kelvin, right? I spoke to my husband about it after he had signed the deal with the cosmetic company. Maybe Kelvin heard Jemma and I talking about it. I did not tell Kelvin to tell your husband. I did not. Kelvin talks too much. Hadiza, I know I've offended you and I'm sorry. But this means a lot to me. You know it's like a dream come true. Oh, please just cut that crap! Cut it! Okay. Maybe I'll just cancel the deal. If that's what you want. Really? So that what they will call me an enemy of progress? No way! You can do whatever you want, Meredith. I want my privacy, please. Yes, ma'am. I said I want my privacy. Can't I have my privacy in my house anymore? You're fine. I'm sorry. In regards to Juliet. Bye. Stupid idiots. Go on, pray. Called who? I told her to call to Meredith. She no longer has my number on my phone. Because I deleted her number from your phone. But why? How dare you ask me why? Why don't you even want to see her? I miss her. What is she giving me to eat, huh? What's so special about this your Auntie Meredith? Get out! Oh, rubbish. Married it, married it. Oh my god, those pictures are perfect. Yeah. I couldn't even recognize myself. No, it's so beautiful. Come on, you look beautiful, <laughs> girl. Um, I'm glad I chose you. Yeah, I made the right choice choosing you for the brand. Um, what I want to advise you is that just uh, take advantage of this opportunity, use it wisely. Yes. It's going to be good for you. I will, Mr. Badmos. Thank you so much. You don't even know what this means to me. Yeah, can you stop calling me Mr. Badmos? Just call me Denzel. I mean, even my, my workers here, they all call me Denzel. Okay. Make me look old when you say Mr. Badmos. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Denzel. Mm, sounds better, right? <laughs> well, uh, 
Look, when these pictures are out, they're so good. I'm sure a lot of brands are going to come after you. God, I can't wait. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this all my life. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you for something else. Shoot. Uh, can I take pictures with Juliet? Um... I've not seen her in a while, and I know her desire does want to see me. Oh, consider it done. I'm sure she would love to take pictures with you. <laughs> love to see you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. So once it's ready, I uh, set everything up. I'll just let you know. Thank you so much. You don't have to thank me for anything. I think I should tell them to bring you something to drink. You want water or something? Uh, yes. Uh, Felicia! Can you get a bottle of water for Meredith, please? Apple okay. juice, if you have any. Apple juice. I'll teach you apple juice. Check in the fridge. Oh, thank the you. Alright. Woo! Well, wow. it's been a good things? day. Thank you. Something it's like, say it's like you. Been a good day. Oh, yes. I can't wait. You remember the last time I held this camera to take pictures. You know, I want to do it myself when I have some special guests in the studio. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I feel special. Mm, you are special. <laughs> Are you done sleeping with Meredith? How was it? Not tonight, Adisa, please. Not tonight. You are very sick in the head. You better want Meredith to stay away from me and my daughter. She should stay clear from her, okay? I am warning you. I am warning the both of you. Would you please leave my side? Don't you ever, ever try it again. I will do it over and over again. You can stop. What are you doing there? Talk to me, talk to me, get out! Stop it! Get out! Stop it! She's my daughter too! I don't care. Look, I've had enough of this nonsense of yours. It needs to stop. Stop it! You think I'm scared of you? You can do your worst, okay? I'm sorry. Rubbish. See this. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry for the way your mom spoke to you. The way she yelled at you. Sorry, okay. And I was thinking, would you like to go to your grandma and spend some time? Yes, please. You like that? You miss your grandma? Hmm, that's good. So, I will arrange it for you tomorrow, okay? But right now, you have to come to bed sleep. So, come here, get into bed. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Good night, okay? Good night. Should I put off the light? Yes. Okay. That's strange. I'm coming. Who are you? What are you doing here? I just came to see you and Juliet. I don't want to see you. You look different. Didn't Denzel pass my message to you? What message? Stay away from my daughter. Stay away from me, Meredith! Use the door.
live tonight, Felicia. I missed you. I'm fine. Very fitting. Oh. That's going to surprise me. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Yes, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy to see her. Yeah, I'm happy to see her too. I'm happy to see you. You know what? I have a little surprise for you and you will love it. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> I've been working on this for a while with my lawyer, but I decided to put it on pause, thinking you were going to change. I thought you were going to be a better person, a better woman, but as things stand, nothing has changed about you. You're still the same mean woman, and where there is no respect, integrity starts to depreciate. Lisa, I can't take it anymore. I want a divorce. What is this? Divorce papers. I want a divorce. Just sign them. You do not want a divorce! Hadiza, we are not working. You know that. We, we, we only pretend to be a couple, which we are not. We can't keep living a lie. Our daughter doesn't deserve it. She deserves better. I'm, 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 I'm tired. I'm tired of living this life. Hadiza, we do not need a divorce, okay? Hadiza, I don't care what you think. I know that we are living like strangers. You don't love me. I don't think I love you anymore. So let's get a divorce. See, please, you need to stop all of this joke, okay? Don't make me laugh. I'm making you laugh. Hadiza, sign these papers. We are getting a divorce. Denzel, don't push me, oh. Don't push me because when we hit you, you're not going to see it coming. Adiza, I don't care what you want to do. We are getting a divorce. So you don't want to see your daughter anymore, right? Oh, is that a threat? Is that a threat? Denzel, I've told you, do not push me, okay? Adiza, this is not working. This will work. We're getting a divorce. No matter you like it or not, okay. we are getting a divorce. Then you won't see your daughter again. <laughs> you can't do that. She's my daughter. Still, I'm never gonna let your windows war in my head. Oh, no, 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 no matter what it is. <sighs> Honey. What's up? Are you okay? I just got off the phone with Denzel. He asked her for a divorce, but it's likely that she's not going to make it easy for him. Why? She told him that she would take away Juliet. That sounds more like a threat. That is a threat. Wow, this is unbelievable. But. Has he gotten to a point of getting a divorce? Hmm. Thinking about it, I believe that's what's best for Denzel. His mental health is what matters. You know, marrying the wrong woman is like a disease. It would eat you up if you don't do anything about it. Poor child. This divorce is going to take a toll on her. I just pray she overcomes it. I hope so too. And thank God I'm a good woman. Who told you you're a good woman? And I'm even considering towing down Denzel's um, line, you know? 
going nowhere. Going where? I'm Me. So what? You know you are very troublesome. How much? You like myself. <laughs> you know I love you. I'm just teasing you. But um, honestly, it's it's a terrible situation. It's really sad. And to think they were all perfect. Come in. Come in. Where is she? She's obsessed. I mean, we don't talk anymore. She's refused to sign the divorce papers. Have you told your mom about it? I haven't. You know, I don't want Juliet getting to know about it until at least I sign the papers. Wow. I am not going to sign the divorce papers, okay? Gossip. What are you even doing in my house? Excuse me? Do you care for to talk to my friend? Sign the damn divorce papers. I am willing to share custody of our daughter. You don't want to be a bad mother. <laughs> me? Bad mother? If I've been a bad mother, what's to be that you're not even the biological father of our daughter? What did you just say? Yes, Juliet is not your daughter. Deal with it, Denzel. You ain't your mother. You take what? Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Calm down, bro. Get a grip of yourself. Do not let the devil use her to get to you, please. Did you hear what you said? Oh, you think huh? you can get away with it? Did you, 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 you know what you said right now? That I'm, I'm not a, the father of, 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 of our daughter? Yes, you are not. I slept with my ex the night before our wedding. You can kill yourself all I care. Bro, do not listen to her. She knows exactly what she is doing, bro. She knows. Don't let anyone make you commit murder. I'll kill her. I'll kill her. You, you do not mean it. I mean every word I'm saying. I mean every word I'm saying. Don't listen to her. She knows what she's doing. Is this all you've got? Is this it? Ink fool. You have to explain to me. You have to. Take it easy. Take she has to explain to me. What the hell are you talking about? It's okay. You're saying she's not your daughter? Yes. What you're saying? She's not your daughter. Rubbish. Mr. Refugee, you better mind your business. So. You've been married to your wife, Choma, for how many years and you don't have a child yet? You're here fucking your nose in other people's business. Cheryl man. What is it? Important man. Then say we need to leave this place right now. We would revisit this issue when you're much calmer, okay? Can't you see she's trying to set a trap? She knows what she's doing. Let's go. 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 Is Juliet okay? Why are you crying? Look, I, I'm sorry. I don't know why I even came here, but I just, uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to see you. I just wanted to talk to you. That's all. You can talk to me. You can talk to me. What happened? Just. Can I? Can I? Yes. Please. <sighs> You know you can talk to me. You were there for me when I needed you. And now I'm here for you. Just calm down and tell me what happened. I... I just said to me that... Juliet is not my biological daughter. What? That's, that has to be a joke or something. She told me when I, when I asked her to sign the divorce papers. Divorce? Are, are you getting a divorce? Yeah. Why? She, I'm, you're just relaxed. Maybe she's just saying it to get back at you or something. No. It can't be true. She says she slept. She just slept with her ex-boyfriend the night before our wedding. And that's when she got pregnant. No, that doesn't validate anything. Juliet is your daughter. Everything is the truth. Juliet is your daughter. 
is the truth of every day. I can't believe this. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. What am I going to do without Juliet? You know, it's like. See, I don't believe all this. I, I don't believe it. I'm sure, she's lying. She's definitely lying. Juliet is your daughter, and nothing can change that. I hope so. Me, I just hope so because I don't know what I'm going to do without Juliet. And... I was thinking that I had a good child, you know, all oh, this way. I thought I had a child and then. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for doing this in front of you. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm going to do if she's not my daughter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm down. I don't have to cry. Shoma, this is not a warning. This is an order. I don't want to see you anywhere close to Hadiza. You see that relationship of yours? Cancel it. But why now? I don't understand. She had the guts to call me Stera. She called me Kevin, an impotent man. What? How dare she say that to you? That's not even the major problem here. You are telling me that there's a major problem. Apart from her calling my husband Stera. Could be worse than that. No, that is a major problem, but there's a major, major problem. You know, she claims that Denzel is not the real father of Juliet. <laughs> You're joking, right? That is that is impossible. My friend. <laughs> He's That is impossible. <laughs> hey, hope you like me. Thank you, but I'm okay. Oh, you need to eat something. You don't have appetite, that's all. Phone. I don't want to go to her house. I just don't want to see Juliet. Come on, you can't hate her for her mother's sins. I can never hate Juliet. I can never hate my daughter. I just don't want to see her because I don't want to break down in front of her. That's all. I understand. So what did your mom say? She said that Hadiza was joking, she was bluffing, and she's gonna hold a meeting with the both of us to clear things up. Okay. Meredith? Yeah? Can you please go to my mom's house and stay with Juliet until this whole thing is cleared out? That's alright, you don't have to ask anything for Juliet. I mean, your mom will have me. Thank you so much. You're eat something. I don't feel like eating. So I went through all this stress for nothing. Okay, I will just taste it. It's okay. Good. Hadiza, I was on my way to your house when I saw your car. We need to talk. When your matrimonial home is on fire, Hadiza, let's just go somewhere and talk, okay? I don't want to create a scene here. Create a scene. I am ready. Do I look like I care? Hadiza, I am not here to fight you. We just need to go somewhere and talk. And Choma, I said we do not have anything to discuss. Hadiza, don't do this. Don't do what? Lie to Denzel that he's not the biological father of Juliet? Juliet is my daughter and I carried her for nine months, okay? So I definitely know who her father is. End of discussion. I am two months pregnant and Kevin is the father of my child. End of discussion too.
Why is that Deezer taking so much time before she comes out? I don't understand, oh. Even if she doesn't respect me, she should respect my mother. Yes! Let her take all the time she wants. Whether she likes it or not, she will still come here. And whatever she says, Denzel, please do not attack her. Please. I won't. Just one piece. Finally, Delilah is here. What is he doing here? What is he doing here? He's my friend and I asked him to be here. So I can disgrace you in front of him, right? Oh, God. You know, there are some witches hmm, that are in human form and they don't need wings to fly at night. Huh. That is a real witch. I don't care whatever it is you call me right now, okay? We don't even need to waste time at this meeting. We do not need to reveal the truth to Juliet. What truth? What are you talking about? You all know what I'm talking about! Adisa, you are shameless! <laughs> See, I don't care if Denzel here wants to remain Juliet's father, okay? We can both take custody of Juliet and he places me on a monthly allowance. And he will also have to pay me the sum of 10 million naira as a divorce settlement. God will punish you. God will punish you for that. My son will not pay you that amount of money. What kind of stupid arrogant nonsense is that? Hadiza, you and I made love the day after our wedding. I am Juliet's father. Be careful what you are saying. I can see you really want to take the paternity test and get disgraced. No problem. Whenever it is you're ready, just make sure you inform me. Because I'll be willing to accompany you. Come, Hadiza, why are you being so difficult? Will you shut up your mouth? Huh? Is this your house? Don't talk to him like that. Oh, please excuse me. See, Hadiza. See? This whole thing is just a very simple issue, okay? All you need to do is to accept the deal. And you let you know about any of this. It'll just be between the three of us, so stop stressing me! Excuse me. Hadida, come back here! Let her go, please. Hey. Huh? God. Mama, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I never thought at this stage in my life this would be happening to me. Who did I offend? Did I, did I offend God? Denzel, no. Don't blaspheme, please. Adisa is just being wicked. I mean, she's a wicked human being. Please don't say anything. Hey, Adisa. Mm -hmm. Did he bring me here to keep saying gibberish? Gibberish? It's not gibberish, Paul. It's the fact. You're likely to be Juliet's father. I am likely. Yes, 70% chance. I've always thought about it. I have told you. I can't be involved with you romantically. You're a married woman now and I have a wife. We reconnected two years ago and now we're business partners. Business partners? Is that all we're going to be now? I don't even know what she used my money for. Come on, I told you, Adiza. Crypto. Yes. Yes, you did. But see, Paul, that's not why I'm here, okay? See, I'm leaving my husband, and I think we can both benefit from it. Benefits from what exactly? You better come correct. I am not leaving my wife. I'm not asking you to leave your wife. But I think you will when you finally find out how much you mean to me. Listen, I am not interested in you, Adisa. And I know where all of this is going to. I am not interested in being a father to your daughter. What if she's your biological daughter, Paul? Last time I remember we slept together was before your wedding. But I'm certain you had sex with your husband after the wedding. So? Your husband should continue to be a father to your daughter. Besides, I don't even like children. Wait, what? You heard me right. What? Well, what are you doing? Leaving. I'll give you a call when we have something more important to talk about. Business strictly. But you're just going to walk out on me? Well, you better watch me do that in style. Paul! My regards to your husband and your daughter.
Juliet is beginning to ask questions. I feel she knows something is wrong. She's a smart kid. Yeah, she is. Honestly, I'm really sorry for what you're going through right now. I'm short of words. Thank you. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry for myself too. It's just crazy with everything going on. Honestly, never seen something like this before. To think that this will be happening to me at this time in my life is just crazy. Just relax, okay? It'll pass, I'm sure. <laughs> What is she doing here? What are you both doing here? This is my house. I have a key to it. What is Meredith doing here? She's my guest. Hi, Hadiza. I see you're becoming too comfortable in my space. In my house! Hadiza, none of us asked for- Would you shut up? I'm sure you're happy we're getting a divorce. I knew you had eyes on my husband. Anyways, you better tell him to take the deal. I can't tell him that. Oh, you prefer him taking the risk of doing the paternity test, yeah? He's going to lose custody of Juliet and he would never be in her life. Meredith. I think you should take the test. What? Yes, I think you should. What if he's not my daughter? I will lose her completely. What if he is your daughter? You deserve to know the truth. Meredith, I, I can't. You have to be strong. Don't let her get to you. When the paternity test is out and he finds out that Juliet isn't his daughter, I'm going to make you both lives miserable. Okay? And I'll make sure I take every single thing that belongs to you. Everything! Deza, can't you just be reasonable? This one has taken care of her ever since. What do you want from me? Let's just see how this whole thing is going to play out. I can't wait to be the person to laugh last. Oh God, I don't know what to do. What was it? I'm just, I just can't take the risk. Calm down, just do it. I just do it, I, I believe you. I don't want to lose Juliet, I don't want to lose Juliet, you know? You will not lose her. She's my everything. Thanks. It's okay. The hospital will contact you as soon as the DNA test is out, Mr. Badmos. Uh, thank you, Doctor. Doctor, I'm actually counting on the reputation of this hospital. Don't let me down. Mr. Badmos, I wouldn't risk losing my doctor's license over a DNA test. Be rest assured, whatever test we give to you is assured and 100% factual. Okay? Okay. Is that all, Mr. Badmos? Thank you very much. And uh, please, can you deliver the DNA results to my... Residence. Absolutely. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. Just let us know when we can be expecting it. Be rest assured, I'll give you a call as soon as it's out. Thank you, Doctor. All right, you have a good day. Do it up. So, how did you get Juliet's hair? Oh, her grandmother. She took it while Juliet was asleep. So, um, do you have any regrets doing the paternity test? No. I think it's for the best that we just know. And I hope you get the result you really want. I hope so too. Are you dead? Yeah. Thank you for everything. You don't have to thank me, Denzel. You've done enough for me. Mercy, you're back. Yes, I'm back. Hi. Oh, Mercy, this is Mr. Denzel Badmas. Denzel, this is my cousin, Mercy. Uh, nice to meet you, Mercy. Nice to meet you, Tosa. I've heard great things about you. Oh, you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for everything you've done for my cousin. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay, so I have to, I have to go now. Okay. Look, I really want you to be there when the resort is right, okay? Alright, I'll be there. Alright, so, promise. um...
Take care of yourself. I'll give you a call. You too. All right. Ah, bye, she. Bye. So nice meeting you. Same here. All right. Bye. Bye bye. You both wanted to kiss the towel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I came in at the wrong time. Wait, what is that? that? You're engaged! You're engaged! I'm engaged, you're not ready. No, yes, congratulations! Thank you so much. Oh. I'm engaged to the love of my life. Girl, this is so nice. Look at you. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh. We have a wedding to plan. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, how was your trip? My trip was safe. You just took me by surprise. <laughs> I missed you, you know. I missed you too. You left me here. Now. Come here. <laughs> Juliet? Darling? How are you? Dad, is it true? Wait, wait. What are you talking about? Why are you crying? Is it true not the biological father? Who told you that? Huh? Wait, 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 where are you? Are you are you at your grandmother's place? No, I'm at home. I'm going to pick me up from school. How could she pick you up? Um, look, um, did you attend classes today? Dad, is it true? Mom told me everything. Look, darling, don't listen to anything your mother tells you, okay? Just wait for me. I will be there soon, okay? I'm coming to you. Just wait for me, okay? How could you? Oh, I see she has told you already. How could you? Don't you have a conscience? She is your daughter! Exactly like you just said, she is my daughter, not yours! The DNA test will prove that. <laughs> oh, I see you have mouth now, right? Okay, we'll wait for the results. Hadiza, get this into your head. No matter what you do, no matter what you do, Juliet will always be my daughter. She will always be my darling girl, so get used to it. No, you should get used to the fact that she is not your daughter and you won't be seeing her anymore. Leave my son, let me go and see my daughter. I still don't understand why you refuse to eat lunch. Stop thinking. Whatever the result is, won't change anything. It will. It will change everything. He shouldn't have taken that deal in the first place. And I don't even know why I persuaded him to go for the DNA test in the first place. You did the right thing. Gosh. Look, you're in love with this man. Please. You know I'm saying the truth. I think he has fallen for you too. Do you know what? Whatever the result is tomorrow, just do the right thing. Be there for dance, your bad mouth, okay? Yes, come inside. Okay. I have a package from Evergreen Hospital. Okay, yes, we've been expecting you. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking for Mr. Badmus. I am Mr. Badmus. Oh, okay. Case for you. I am sorry it's coming very late. I was held up in traffic. No, it's, 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 it's Please, okay, it's fine. Can you sign here? All right. Uh, Oh, 
I'm sorry. It's okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, have thank a you too. Evening. You too. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh, what God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Oh, God, I thank you, thank you, God. Come here, baby. She's my daughter. That now, that. I'm looking for Paul. I need to see his wife too. Yes, I'll help you. My name is Adiza. Paul is my business partner. He's owing me, and I need to see him. I've been calling him, he's not been picking up, and now we switched off. I need to see him urgently, please. Wait, first, which Paul? Mr. Paul, he don't travel to Canada with his family now. He know they live here again. Paul, travel. See, I don't think we're talking about the same Paul. I need to take my money, please. Just. But, madam, no be Mr. Paul, Mosu. We get four children and I'm fine wife. They don't go to Canada since. I get your girl now. Oh my God. Paul told me he, he detests children. I lost my husband because of this one. No, 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, is someone traveling? Yes. Me and my dad are going on vacation. Wow. <laughs> that must be fun. <laughs> hey, you look ravishing as always. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you didn't tell me you were traveling? Oh, actually, we are <laughs> traveling together. We? Yes, we. Uh, we are actually going on a trip to Dubai. I bought us tickets already. Wow. But we're going to spend a few days in the hotel before we travel. Hmm. Meredith? Yeah. Um, I don't want us to travel as friends. I want us to travel as lovers. Let's see if we're traveling together. I. I love you, Meredith. I'm madly in love with you. And I really want you to be my girlfriend. Say yes. 
I know it's kind of awkward in front of my daughter, but I love you and I. I don't know what to say, but I, I just love you too, Denzel. I really do. And I'll go with you. Really? Yes. And yes, I'll be your girlfriend. <sighs> oh my. Come here. 